think you can get a really good song any way, but some ways are clear cut paths. I have a tendency to go for chords first. I just love chords. Chords are my favorite part of music because the options at your fingertips and the order of the notes is so beautiful. If you string a complex order of notes together the right way, it'll make you feel like so smart, like just by you listening to it, you know? Like, I think it's really cool that if you work hard enough and be smart enough here, you can make other people feel smart just by listening to it. Because that's what experience I get from listening to jazz music. And then there's other music that's super emotional. And that kind of comes from a place of lyric writing. And I think like wherever you start, your starting point or your gravita gravitational point, like because I gravitate to chords and the sounds I like, it's going to be more like that. Not as much like bearing my soul, strumming guitar, like song, like songwriting like that. Should this shit move? No, I'd leave it exactly how it is. Cool, that's perfect. It's hard to figure out the best place to get a good song from. I think those moments in life where you hear somebody say something that sounds cool and you're like, whoa, what you just said is cool. You know, somebody will just say something that sounds cool, like, oh yeah, you just said something quippy or like kind of headier than I thought, like I thought you were. And those moments, like, I think some of my best songs come from like hearing other people say something that I thought was like super cool and it was off the cuff to them and then I quickly scribble it in my phone and then I'm like thinking about that thing they said. That's a big way I get cool stuff. Um, that That's probably, yeah, that's like the direct line of like outside influence hitting you and then you holding on to it and then regurgitating it into a song, and I think that's where best songs come from. Constructing an album is like constructing 30 to 40 minutes of all original thoughts that are supposed to be like super heady. So it's like kind of impossible for some bullshit not to slip through. And like I listen back to my album, and some of the songs I'm like, like deep cringe, like I made that from such a wrong place. And some of them I'm like, yeah, this song is really good. Like, this song is dope. Because it came from a true place, and it came out and it flowed out of me in a really cool way. And I have yet to, I have one song on my new album that I'm working on that flow, that like flew out of me like that. Those are really rare. I know what kind of effort it took to make my last album and I did a lot of it in the winter time and I feel like my as the aspects of myself that include self-discipline happen in the winter time. I really hate the winter time. Being outside is horrible, but I really apply myself in winter time and I take things like all summer, all spring and all autumn long like I'm intaking stuff from the world. I'm like registering and like watching and kind of just partying and going on trips and touring and there's like a lot of action. So I see winter as a time for peace and as long as I can stay warm, I'll keep living in the Midwest. Life is really 
a lot of experiencing stuff. And you want to kind of mute how much you have to experience every day, or like limit it, because it's kind of like a muscle, and you have to like work your brain into being able to take in eight hours of new or constantly like writing and like thinking critically. That's what like doing like recording days is like. It's like working days on my album, it's like, all right, I have to go like probably eight hours of like critical thought. Like when I first started getting back into writing after this touring cycle, it's like, oh, I can only do an hour a day. I can only do two hours a day. You want to get back to that eight hour a day thing because you can't make a great album doing like one hour a day. I like to sit here and get really stressed out about music. My goal is to stay really tr kind of true to myself and not think about that stuff because it clouds my vision. So try not to think about the next steps. I've got some pretty cool touring plans lined up that I'm excited about, but I'm not sure if they're solidified. But man, thinking about the stress of you know, the sophomore slump fear, you know, like the second album can either make or break kind of that thing. Try to not let that slip in too hard. I think it'll only breed negativity. My name's Paul Cherry. I make music under the name Paul Cherry. And I just put out an album called Flavor, if you wanted to check it out. Looking through my phone Messages that I know I shouldn't send Cry.